Pedro Ortiz. Um, he has to be the best fighter out there at 147 or in any weight class uh, for that matter. Uh, Virgil Ortiz, and I've said this all along, Virgil Ortiz will beat anybody at 147 right now. I feel that Virgil is right there ready to, uh, to, to dismantle anybody at 147. 2021 could be a big year for Virgil Ortiz. On March 20th, Virgil Ortiz will take on Maurice Hooker, which is a step-up fight for Virgil Ortiz. I think it's a decent fight. Maurice Hooker is a decent fighter. I think this fight will tell us where Virgil Ortiz is at. I'm picking Virgil Ortiz to win the fight. But stranger things have happened in boxing. But if Virgil Ortiz gets past Maurice Hooker, which we, most of us expect him to do, is a possibility that he will take on Terrence Crawford. Oscar De La Hoya and Bob Arum have been meeting, kicking this fight around. Ortiz is currently ranked number two by the WBO. I like Ortiz, but if this fight went down, I would favor Terrence Crawford to win the fight. But a lot of people thought Lomachenko would beat Teofimo Lopez, and you saw what happened there. Ortiz's dream in boxing was to fight Errol Spence. It wasn't no path to do that before. It was only a dream we thought. Now it's a path. Now if he beats Maurice Hooker, then he goes in there with Terrence Crawford, and he's able to pull the upset and beat Terrence Crawford, then it's a strong possibility that he fights Spence in Dallas, Texas. And Spence says he wants to be in big fights. This fight would be huge. Both men are from Dallas, so it would be a local fight. Plus Virgil Ortiz, is Mexican and they follow their fighters they they support their fighters and Spence fans will support him and you know boxing fans will be there especially if Virgil Ortiz upsets Tans Crawford but one fight at a time that's just the path that Virgil Ortiz can take I think he beats Maurice Hooker I think Tans Crawford could be a tall order for him you talk about top three pound for pound fighter in the world but who knows, Virgil Ortiz is talented, and boxing is full of surprises. All-time great Manny Pacquiao announced Tuesday that he's starting to train for his next fight. The million dollar question is, who will be his next opponent? How Ryan Garcia has been talking, you would think he'd be the front runner to get the fight. But Pacquiao said the next fight would add to his legacy, like he needs to add anything else to it. If that is true, if this is a fight that's gonna add to his legacy, will that rule out Conor McGregor and Ryan Garcia? Or maybe that is just me, because I'm thinking if Pacquiao is gonna add to his legacy, Ryan Garcia and Conor McGregor are the last two opponents that will come to my mind. Did he decide to take on Errol Spinch Jr. in the summertime? Or is he gonna move up another weight class and win a ninth division title? And I'm not dogging Ryan Garcia out because I think Ryan Garcia is a good young fighter. I just don't see how it's gonna add to Pacquiao's legacy beating him. Leave in the comment section who you think Manny Pacquiao should fight next. I'm leading towards Spence. Leave your thoughts and comments below. Jay Beasy, subscribe to the channel. I'm gone.